Welcome back to Kerbal Hard and Uncut. Last time we, we finished our building work and we've got about four and a half minutes until the dual scan mission goes. And I thought, you know what, before that goes anywhere, we're gonna we're gonna launch it. We're gonna launch the dual three. Um where is it? The dual three. There we go. The crew is ready. We're just gonna go for it. It's gonna take a big chunk of our funds. I'm gonna launch it. If this goes wrong, we have time. If this goes wrong, we will be almost bankrupt. We will be, we'll be, we won't be launching dual missions. Let me put that way. We won't be launching dual missions in a traditional sense. We'll be having to do other stuff. Now, we will have the dual scan around dual, so potentially we can grab some science around there, and that could be worth a lot. I don't really want to have to send a crew back out to Elu to do science stuff there. I'm annoyed, but I'm more than, I'm more than annoyed about the, um, about the. Oh, we haven't fought, we haven't broken on the launch pad yet. That's okay. I'm more than annoyed about the. Um, about the Elu flag planting, because that would have been, I think it was like three, 300,000, 400,000, which would have been, you know, half this rocket, um, which is a, a lot for a rocket, but, you know, it, it, this is a big one. So, right, um, let's go. Oh, come on, there we are. Okay, we're going up. We are going, it's going up very quickly, actually. And we've got green on the board. I'm gonna, gonna sort of get the thrust going down a bit, okay. And I'm going to start the turn. We're going to turn you to there. I suppose we've got a lot of a lot of thrust vectoring going on right now. Um, I want to be stable when the fuel runs out, and I'm not going to be able to. All right, I can see there the difference in the fuel levels. Um, right, let's have a look. We're, we're, we're we are moving. This is uh, it's a little juddery, but it's yeah we're in the yellow. <laughs> we are in the yellow. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, just gonna just gonna keep it near. I don't. I haven't checked the aero on this. I haven't checked anything. I don't know what this fairing is going to be doing to things. Sometimes I know some of the scanny bits used to be used to play up with fairings. I don't know if they still do. I don't know if there's anything in that fairing that's going to play up. We've got stuff upside down in the fairing. We've got engines facing the wrong way. So yeah, I I don't know what will happen. If this goes up without a hitch, I will be shocked. I'm I'm I, I for a rocket like this, first time build, I would normally expect it to break. I don't. I think I have built a rocket this sort of size before. I think we've maybe the space shuttles I've put up in the past series uh, that I've done uh, would would be so not not this mass, but potentially this sort of scale for for things. But uh, you know, this needs to turn over actually, doesn't it? We'll just we'll just turn this sideways. Let's get this thing turned sideways. We don't need to go too high. Um, just like that, uh, just just there. Is that, is that good? There we go. Right, and uh, full full thrust, please. All right, get rid of those. Go on, don't destroy anything. Oh, that was good. That was good. That was good. We like that. Right. Um, okay, we're on our final stage. It's got quite a lot of delta V actually. We've got two minutes to the orbit. Um, I'm gonna gonna put our nose down a little bit. I don't need to go that high. There we are. Right, and I think I want the fairing gone next. We're going to wait until we're actually uh, out of the atmosphere, I think. No, you know what? Mm. I think I have to cut the engines to do this as well because it's clamshell, is it? I think it's clamshell we put it on, and I don't want it hitting anything. So what we'll do is we'll go up to just out of the atmosphere. Uh, we'll cut. I'll let the clamshell detach. Okay. And then we will fire again. Right, how much longer have we got on these engines? These engines are a minute and a half. We have got a minute and 50. What was that went past there? What is that? That's the Yorga's wreckage. Yorga's wreckage? What do you mean Yorga's wreckage? Is that in orbit? Is that seriously in orbit? I think we'll go up to about 120. I, I don't mind going too high with this. Um, and then we'll kill it. Yeah, there we go. Right. Right. What are we looking like for power on batteries? We're not terrible. Okay. Put that there. Add maneuver. And we're going to do that. Yoga's wreckage. That's Jewel 2. Could have picked up the Jewel 2 crew. That's a missed opportunity, isn't it? That would have been quite amusing. Um, pull up down to that right okay here we go uh, we got start burning two minutes it's a 20 second burn is seriously 
we've done it. We've done a decent. Uh, we've done decent. We're going to put this on the node because we've got a decent pilot, so we can do it. Oh, exciting! Did I put? Where's my? Are you there? You're there, aren't you? Yeah, you, we've got a thing. Okay. So the engineer is going to stay on here, and he's going to do the docking with everything. Okay. Oh, actually, suppose it's not that we've got an excellent engineer. We've actually got a uh, thingy on him. Uh, what's our electric charge? It's eating. It is eating electric charge right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to extend our solar panels. We are in the dark, I believe, so that's not going to help much, but uh, it will it will help when the sun does appear. Um, we are slowly moving there. So what we've learned is this whole thing takes an awful lot. We're going to have a... Oh, thank you. Um, we're going to close that. We'll come back to you. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll have to come back to uh, the dual craft. The dual craft will be in the sphere of influence of dual. We'll need to do something about that. I'm not too fussed right this second. I want to get this into orbit. Um, and then we can figure out what's wrong with it. Let's have a look. That's got more fidelity than I thought it was going to have. Oh, we're auto-saving. I don't know why it auto-saves because... Oh, maybe it's just that it's it's the uh, the persistence file is auto updating in case anything goes wrong, because of course I can't save it. We don't have the ability to save on this series. It's a uh, it's a non-saving. Well, I I think you can. I think we can save. We can't load, so I don't understand the function of the save, and I I definitely can't quick save. Although I never do anyway, because it's one thing I don't do. So yeah, did you comment down below? Did you think this was going to make it? I mean, seriously. Oh, oh! I didn't think they were that clipped. Okay, just don't look at the engines. Okay, I uh, I seriously thought the boosters were going to destroy the craft. Um, I put the 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 separatrons on, but I didn't think they were going to be enough. It, in the end, it was quite a nice separation. It was like a, I don't know. Uh, it was nicer than I thought for for the for what the craft looked like. Shall we say? Right, let's fire the engines. We're going a little early, but uh, I don't mind that too much. We can uh, we can wait until we're on the node five, six, five, four. Three, two, one. Are we going to go good? Are we going to go good? And we are orbital and there. There we go. That's fine. That's, that's better. Right. Uh, just, just, yeah. You know what? Just stay still. <laughs> right. You are now in orbit. We've got enough for pretty much a departure, but let's have a look. Um, let's do the maneuver planning. So from current orbit, we want to go to Joule. Calculating, one thousand nine hundred. What? Let's have a look. At cost a delta v five. Um. Okay, that's not terrible. That's not the worst thing I've ever seen. I think it does mean that we're going to have about a thousand of that stage left, which I wasn't expecting. Um, what does the, tra was it, it's in a year, is it? It's a year. What does the transfer actually look like? Because we're going to dual anyway, we're going to jump over to the dual craft in a second. So I thought we might as well arrange it. Wow. That is an horrible, oh no, I suppose actually it's, it's coming in close and then it, no, it goes, it goes way out. Why does it do that? Is it trying to, Let's see, set, set target. Is it, yeah, it's trying to put us on the encounter there. So if we went, we went later and went shorter, maybe that'd be better. It's, I will say one thing about this maneuver node thing is it's, it's not brilliant in the fact that it seems to not care about the fact that your capture is going to be really expensive. Um, so that's that's one thing that probably I dislike about it. So um, and it's not even taking us close, but we've we've got a marker for it now anyway. So let's have a look. What have we got in the system? Have I got anything in the system? Uh, I want to see probes. Aha! What's that? Are you there? What are you? Hello? You you there? Right? I know you're something there. I can't I can't see you. Okay. You you're gonna come? I oh, know you're gonna be. Where are you? I don't know where you are. Oh, I don't know anymore. I don't know anymore. All right, we're going. We'll go and grab you. Um, we'll have to go into the other screen. So yeah, that was a successful launch. I'm not sure about that maneuver node. Um, I may come back, or we may come back and do a manual one actually, uh, because I think we can do better. Primarily for that capture burn. That's a lot of delta v. Um, 
that I'm not going to get back and I don't have a lot of fuel. Now we've gained a bit because we're going to gain about a thousand off this. We we overbuilt the first stage, which is a surprise. Pretty much a stage and a half to orbit though. I'm quite happy about that. Um, right, let's go to the Space Center and let's go and check out our um, our dual scanner. Um, if nothing else, we can see what the dual scanner's capture boon is going to take and things. Uh, we don't have to do the full sort of 2000 whatever it was saying because we're going to we're going to hopefully capture and then we'll try and sling ourselves into some sort of interaction with Tylo capture around Tylo and we'll, we'll do some gravity burn the, the hopefully some gravity source the captures and things like that but um yeah it's not going to be it's not going to be easy it does make me wonder just how interesting it would be to do a grand tour because we just need one more craft for that wouldn't we we need the we need the the lander of thingy. So yeah, so that's there. Where am I looking for? I'm looking for. Where are you? Where Where is it? What What, what have I What am I missing? Where is? Where's? What was it called? Oh, dual scan. There you are. I thought we'd lost you there for a minute. Uh, oh yeah, you are. You are where I thought you were. Okay, right. Thought we'd lost the dual scan. Then I was looking for like dual eye or discover jewel or something like that and it obviously wasn't there because our naming system obviously needs to be improved that i think that would be one thing to take away from most of my series is the naming systems are not particularly good and i probably should improve them um i always want to start with a good naming scheme and then the missions sort of go off the kilter a bit and you know stuff and things happen and you just yeah all right am i in the sphere of influence of jewel i am how wonderful we've got a dear to uh no i want to focus can i no can i right show me the dual system and then i would like to that's it right so what i would really like to do is put a node here okay um there and i'd like to capture if that's possible um and i'd like to do it whilst being um while being in the system oh there's an encounter there now what's the missions that we've got we've got science data from space around you we can do that um science data from space around val i could grab that as well when we're here and then that's funding that i can get so where's val let val set as target there oh that's nice we're we're actually coming oh because i planned it and uh right uh, <laughs> is that going to be any sort of interaction Let's have a peek. Are we going to get anywhere near Val? How much is... Whoa, we're going to get a lot of interaction with a lot of different places, aren't we? Um, oh, we might. We, that was close. I suppose that needs to be actually on it, doesn't it? <laughs> I suppose we could do a little bit of... Do a little bit of fiddling here, couldn't we, if we just did that? And a bit of that. And a bit more of that. And a bit of this. This is where I start to go a bit crazy, isn't it? Because I'm starting to... Is that me making it worse? What's the... Yeah, I think that's me making it worse. We want to do that. <laughs> and a bit of this. No, a bit of that. And a bit more of that. And a bit of that. And how close are they going to get? Come on. Oh, close. And a bit more of that. Oh, they, they want they want it, don't they? They want it. Go on. Oh, so close. I think it would actually just be, yeah, it'd be better if we just do this. We just do this. We just add a maneuver. We just capture. Let's just, let's just capture... Yeah, we'll capture into that sort of regime. Was that the right word? Um, like that. Outer marker, yeah. 200, that'll capture. Then we'll do an inclination change. And then we've got all the Delta V in the world to do what we want to do around the planets and stuff. Right, okay. So then we're going to just, uh, we're going to put that in the alarm clock. Uh, that needs to be deleted. Um, that's the dual free to dual. So we're going to, we're going to create the alarm for this. It's a manoeuvre, it's the, uh, what is it, the dual scan. The dual scan, there we go, you can hear me typing away nice and aggressively. Uh, and that's done, right. So, dual scan set up, dual craft uh, launched. 
forgot what this looks like. Yes, it does. Right. Oh, we can actually do a, uh, we can do a, where is it? Perform certainly We can't do that. Okay. We don't have, oh, I can't do science with this unless I do a survey. Right. So from me until next time, have a great one.